Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Black Mint playing cards from 52 Cards. What is Mint? Mint was a Kickstarter that 52 Cards uh, put out. If you don't know 52 Cards, they are a YouTube channel, a teaching magic channel, uh, and they also have a Facebook uh, group that allows people to share and swap magic ideas. Um, the creator of 52 Cards decided to release uh, their own deck that was uh, devoted to magic and to help uh, magicians out with a quality deck of cards, and so this is the result. 52 Cards wanted to create a, you know, a worker's deck, a pack of 52 cards that merges form with function, and they used a very classical approach to the design. The goal was to develop a look that was familiar, but then also relevant and fresh. Um, so they made a very elegant repeating pattern uh, on the back of the deck, made to look more like a casino back, but you know, a little bit of poker mixed in there. And so this deck is the result, and it's really a beautiful deck that kind of just screams luxury for the modern card player. Everything about the Black Mint deck from top to bottom is completely custom. The faces are custom, the, the fonts, the pips, the court cards, the ace of spades, uh, all of it's been completely redrawn and yet it still feels classic. It still feels like a deck of cards that you recognize. The tuck case is all done in a black matte paper. It feels very much like a, a Madison style uh, deck of cards. Uh, all of this is silver embossed and it does say mint and uh, you can feel the raised uh, paper right there on the mint icon. One side of the tuck case says the mint collection. The other side says luxury for the modern Cardition. The bottom has some ad copy about the deck. And the tuck flap has an original tuck seal with the mint icon that says launch edition. The back design on the tuck is the back design of the cards, but it's more of a black on black embossed that you can just barely see. And if you open up the tuck case, you'll see that there's a silver repeating pattern on the inside. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on a retail stock. They are traditionally cut and they have an air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. If you wanna know how these cards feel and how they handle, uh, they are a United States Playing Card Company deck. They do use the standard paper. Uh, when you measure them with a caliper, they come out to about 2.9 six so the paper is a little on the thinner edge away from a casino grade but not quite so thin that they feel like a thin deck so they're you know about medium um, they're gonna feel like the black kings they're the same thickness as the black kings same thickness as the deck of aladdin's uh, they're really similar in feel to the male chimps and the green gator backs so on the back design you have that repeated image of the mint icon and then a nice really thin super razor thin uh, poker white border. Really uh, interesting thing about the back design, for one, it's a repeating image, so that kind of you know, tells people that, hey, this is a, you know, a casino deck, uh, it's a standard deck of cards for playing cards. I think people aren't you know, wary of repeating patterns. They, I think they find some comfort from that, but it's a false sense of comfort because this is a marked deck. There is a marked uh, uh, design in the corners, and it is also a one-way back. So uh, the creators of 52 cards really uh, manufactured this to be for magicians. Now, a little note though about the marking system and about the one-way design. I wear glasses, <laughs> so I'm not the best at being able to see very small things. And um, really, to see something really small, even print, um, I'm gonna need sunlight or really direct light. So in a fluorescent light like this, in a regular room with regular lighting, I cannot see the marking system at all. I can't. The, the marking system is so small, um, I can't see it close up, I can't see it far away. So as a marking system, for me and with my eyesight and my glasses, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. So that's kind of a letdown. Uh, the one-way design, I can just barely see it's so, it is really super small, but I can see it. You know, if I remember where to look, then I can see it. But as far as the marking system goes, for a person with my, I'll say disability, it's useless. With this deck, you're gonna get one advertisement card that talks about 52 cards on one side and some of the um, strong supporters of the Black Mint playing cards on the other. Also with this deck, you're gonna get two gaffs, which is great. 
uh, you're getting a double backer and a double facer. These are great for magic tricks. With this deck, because you've got an ad card, you will only get one Joker. It is simply uh, the mint icon there in the center, and it says Joker in the corners. Your Ace of Spades is very simple. It has an outlined Ace Pip there in the center. Underneath in scroll, it says the Mint Collection, Luxury Playing Cards. And then under that, there's some Latin. The Latin says, the world wants to be deceived, so let it be deceived. The other aces in the deck all have larger pips in the center, similar to the Ace of Spades. I like that, I appreciate that, and I wish more deck designers would do it. The pips and indice cards are gonna feel very familiar. Pips, layout, design, font. It'll feel familiar, but like I said earlier, it has been completely redesigned and redone. The court cards have a more Arco design look to them, the bigger faces, the bigger bodies, uh, and I do like that. It's a very classic look, but you will notice that they have been redrawn and recolored. All right, so that is my review for the Black Mint playing cards from 52 Cards. As always, I want to thank rareplayingcards.com for providing these decks for me so that I could do these reviews for you. And if you would like to find these decks or any others, please visit rareplayingcards.com. Thanks. Bye.